Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Founder Fridays. This month, I celebrated the second year anniversary of me being a full-time social entrepreneur, and I just wanted to talk about it. You know, one of the things you hear the most is that the first step is the hardest, and I'm just here to tell you that's a lie. It's not true. The first step is not the hardest. The hardest step is keep going when the bottom falls out. That climb back up is the absolute hardest. Um, you know, they say, you know, um, the first step is the hardest. Getting started is the hardest. Getting started is it's fairly easy. People start stuff all the time. They start initiatives, blogs, businesses, ideas, and that follow through when things get hard. It really what makes or break people. And I am no different. <laughs> I have definitely broke several times, especially during this pandemic. Um, I'm grateful for my community who puts me back together again. And so many people who that you may know, but so many people that work behind the scenes that really um, do a lot of mending, <laughs> a lot of um, encouragement, a lot of loving to bring me back to this space and encourage me back on my purpose. And the climb on the other side of broken is very hard but also very, very, very rewarding because you know that breaking no longer has that power over you, that your strength is beyond being broken. So you don't fear that as much. The bottom falling out is not really that scary anymore because you know you can survive that. And that's where, for me, I feel like I've gained the most power and I've honed the most of my my own magic um and it's definitely not my own let me say collectively my collective my family especially my parents and my close friends who have uh, powered me through and then also the starting into that community of course maybe i should have started there my name is charlyn anderson i'm the founder and executive director of starting with today <laughs> anywho so I really feel like the Starting One Today community as well with our partners, with our community that we serve, that we are part of, we're privileged to be a part of it, right? It's not us versus them, it's we, it's us. They take care of me just as much as I try to be there for them as well. Um, they pour into me in ways I can't even begin to describe and explain. So that is the fuel that keeps me going. And I think for me over the last, you know, six months, especially, but the, definitely this last um, year and a half where I've been asked to like really lean on them, lean on my support systems more than I'm used to having to do. And so I found so much um, power <laughs> in letting go as well. So that is my Founder Friday. Two years of entrepreneur, still here, still standing, barely, but here, barely, but here. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to everything that this journey has ahead. There's so many things on the stove right now, y'all. Epic, black, big, powerful stuff that I'm excited to share with you over the next six months. Um but we're still working, we're still going, we're still strong. And I am finding the beauty and discovering my strength along the way. So if there's something in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit that you have not moved forward on, that you have been holding back on, I encourage you to put your foot in the water and see what's possible. That's That has been my journey. And that's been the journey of so many people that I've been inspired by. And so I'm sending that reminder and love and encouragement to you. As always, if you need any support or encouragement or have any questions, feel free to hit me up. And I'll be happy to share my experience um, and my expertise. <laughs> uh, also, I can share if I don't know. I got those. <laughs> experience, expertise, and I don't know. You always have uh, access to that. So I hope that y'all have a great weekend. Thank you for supporting me on this journey. Thank you for supporting starting with today on this journey. I appreciate you. We appreciate you. 
and um we're still excited about everything that's still to come be blessed